So guys, today I'm going to do something pretty fun. A lot like the zombie survival kit. Today I'm going to be talking about my top three weapon choices for a zombie apocalyptic time. So let's get started. This first one, I want to note that you have to understand uh, two things kind of about my zombie weapon survival picks. And that is that my top three choices are not necessarily based on what I'd be using the most, but rather what's most valuable to me as far as in this situation. Also, what you have to realize is my style of how I would go about in a zombie survival situation. And so the first thing is, uh, or how I would go about this, my style, I would tend to emulate more like how I do on video games, and that is to be more of a scavenger. Because I don't really think in a zombie situation there's going to be much of an agricultural growing of like tomatoes in a big farm. I think you're primarily going to have to scavenge them. And so what this means for the zombie apocalypse person is that lightweight, speed, the mobility are very important. So with my particular setup here, Technically, I could actually carry it all on this uh, gear slinger, but most importantly, I could carry it all on my person without any fancy backpack or without any fancy accoutrements per se. It could all be on me, keeping it really high speed, low drag. So the first part is, I totally forgot to get it out, but the first part to me and the most important piece is going to be a handgun. Now this is a Glock 21 and I think the Glock is, or the Glock 21 is probably the most important piece because in particular uh, I don't intend to use it at all. I try and not use it and in video games this is how I am very similar. One, because guns are very loud and loud guns tend to attract zombies. But what I would carry the handgun for is if I ever found myself encircled with zombies or if I ever found myself in a position where I needed to quickly get out and I just needed to go and so like I said if I found myself encircled by zombies <clears throat> I could use the handgun and I would have three mags with me to shoot a hole essentially in the wall and bolt like you know if there was a wall of zombies I would shoot a handful of zombies and run and that's essentially this so if I ever found myself in a tight situation or if it things got really bad you know and all of a sudden I turned around and the corridor is filled with zombies that is when I would use the handgun gun to take down a few zombies not a gigantic amount of zombies and once again, I'm not waging war with this this is only an escape mechanism essentially for me and once again that's because I kind of want to be like a ninja in su zombie survival situation to run in, I want grab what I need and then run out really fast before they even know that I was there and I think this is really the best way because when you get involved in a lot of fighting that's gonna take a lot of resources a lot of energy and a lot of time and not to mention that it can also alert other zombies and other people to your position so I'm not a big fan of getting into brawls so the second piece for me is going to be the SOG tactical tomahawk and this is going to be the workhorse of my theoretical weapons and the reason why is not so much because it's a good attack tool but because it has this spike so with this spike I can use this spike for breaking into locks, breaking into wooden crates, breaking into, you know, windows, houses, doors, whatever. I can break into a lot with this particular tool. And that is going to be the big thing because once again, I see myself more as trying to run in, grab something, run out before anyone realizes I was even there. I kind of want to be the ninja. Plus, extra tactical cool points, you can also throw this at zombies for that awesome death shot if you want to be stupid stupid. Once again though, don't throw your tomahawks because that's a stupid idea. <laughs> don't ever disarm yourself. But that is my third, or sorry, my second choice, and like I said, really the workhorse of the gear is because I can break down stuff, I can break into stuff, I can do what I need as a scavenger with this tool, and not only that, it is also a very lightweight, high speed, low drag kind of tool. So then the next piece here, and this is more for daily operations and such, is a good knife. Now this one is the pull force prepper one, and this one is not super it doesn't scream tactical like some of the people that I've seen do this video they have like the most screaming tactical knives and that's cool if you want to do that like totally go ahead but for me this is more of a knife that if I ever needed it in a tactical situation this will do the trick this can be pulled out and I can definitely use
use this as a tactical knife, uh, especially how I would carry this. As you can see, I'm running the scout style on the belt, so definitely this would be a theoretical tactical knife if I ever needed it that way. But really what I see this as is, you know, the game processor, the processor, you know, you need something. At the end of the day, you know, you can have all these cool guns and battle axes, but at the end of the day, what you might find pretty silly is if you can't open a cardboard box or if you can't open a tin can, you know, you're you can't get food, you can't get water. So, you know, there has to be that one practical tool that, you know, while it's not screaming tactical, you know, kill all the zombies, it's still a very practical tool for opening the cans, opening the cardboard boxes, you know, doing the more real life tasks that are going to be day to day. But as well, it has that tactical element so that in case I ever need to throw it into a tactical situation or if, say, while I'm sitting there eating my oatmeal, my instant oatmeal, a zombie comes up and just tries to maul me and, you know, just boom, pull this out and take him down. So that is that. And of course, this is a pretty non-serious video. I've tried to hopefully incorporate some funny elements into it. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this just quick little discussion about my top three zombie weapons. Uh, weapons and tools for the zombie apocalypse. Once again, this would be the absolute, probably one of the most important tools, but the handgun is really there as an escape mechanism, and that's why I don't have anything larger. Some people may be surprised, like, why aren't you carrying a rifle, or, you know, why not a 22? Because in my particular style, I'm not planning to sit there and pick them off. I'm planning to run in, you know, grab what I need, take down a zombie if I have to with the tomahawk, and leave fast. And if I ever get cornered, that's when the handgun would come in. So anyways, guys, don't forget to comment what your three tools would be. And if anyone else wants to take on this tag, definitely do it. It's so fun and hilarious. And so anyways, guys, don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, and I'm out.